How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongus Max Y, the channel. Okay, definitely. It's not take time. It's August 2nd. It's Friday. <laughs> Friday. F. And a uh, little vlog, little news. Well, um, the weather is coming in and out, so I don't know. There's a hurricane coming this way. There's a some type of, I don't know, Clarissa. Clarice. Clarissa. <laughs> Agent Starling. There's a some hurricane that's going to put her out. And then there's another one. The possible Daniel. It's possible. <laughs> possible. Possible Daniel. It will come into a hurricane and out of And Anyways, we might get a tropical storm. Um, not on us, but nearby, sort of. That's about it. Which is like wind and rain, some surf. So, but everyone's watching because it's hurricane season. And, uh, and what else? I've been just doing a bunch of stuff. So, uh, uh, Michael's in town and we're kind of, we did, we did, we were meeting about stuff. Anyways, we did a, we did a cryptocurrency. And I couldn't edit it because my editing program's corrupt on the other... It's a long story. It goes back to... Oh, gosh. The, the, the same old system I've been using here, which is... Anyways. Mm, editing. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, okay, vlog to news. News. Uh, gosh. Uh, the Olympics is going along and... Um, I did finally flip it on and it was water polo. Water polo. <laughs> I didn't know those guys were that big. They're like football players treading water. <laughs> That's a pretty big size for treading water. Um, then there's uh, um, the, the campaign stuff. I don't even know what to say anymore about the campaign -y thing. It's just getting weirder, and there's more, uh, stuff. <laughs> Kamala Harris is still yet to pick the VP president, but they got a lot of momentum, a big momentum going, the Democrats. And on the Republican, uh, MAGA-esque side, there's a lot of spinning of the, not the narrative, the spinning of, um, the optic of it. Because they're trying to say, oh, it's, ooh, 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 they're trying to... That's mine. And then there's, like, name-calling. Don't leave. I... <laughs> and then there's a big snafu Trump keeps making about this and that. He keeps saying stuff, and it's... Oh, my God. Like, a normal person running for office saying that stuff would just... They would just be pulled from the ticket, erased, and put under a rock instantly. I mean, but this guy has got the cult of personality. Everyone thinks he can say anything he wants to. And they like that, thinking he's he's telling it like it is. He's just speaking what's on his mind. I, it's like a sort of a venting mouthpiece of frustration in America that they always, someone always wanted to say that. I always wanted to say that. And they think he can't be, um... America. America, yeah, we're talking about America. They can't be, he can't be biased because he's so wealthy. But then, he didn't get his wealth, honestly. And he's in, actually, completely in debt. He's used to being bankrupt, going... It's, it's such a hot mess all the time, and it, it becomes normal. And he's tweeting, because Obama used the tweet first, and then now he's like the tweet president. So he watches TV, that's how he gets his briefings, and then he does policy by tweeting. Oh. And so everyone's seeing it too. And that got. Anyways, uh, let's, let's. Hawaii's got news too, and I didn't hook it up. Hawaii's got news too, and here it is. <laughs> Transition. Okay. Voter apathy? Huh? Yeah, I'm a 
voter apathy underscored by Hawaiian history. I'm stuck. So there's that sovereignty issue that's always been going on. Strong beliefs by some Native Hawaiians who refuse to vote or even acknowledge U.S. authority may be contributing to Hawaii's history of low voter turnout. So it's like, oh, it's the system. White man come steal our land. I'm not voting. And uh, Hawaii comes down to distrust. The we don't obey your laws. We're not voting. Um, so they're counting that as low voter turnout. They may no now they're like looking over here. They may not be Republican. They are just they're con, con, conservative. I, I they're trying to figure out who's who. <laughs> okay, for those that are not voting, can I get their vote? Can you hear her? Now to the Olympics. Carissa Moore is winning in surfing, and all of that's going down in Tahiti. So she's hey. I won. I'm biting the gold medal. Make sure it's real. They get some money now with that stuff. They got some fancy gold stuff going on. I know. And so, to the sports, no more. Maybe. Cheers, cheers. Surfing. I guess it reminds me of this thing in Tombstone, Arizona, one of the grave sites. It's from the Hi. 1800s. Here lies Lester Moore. Four shots from a 44. No less, no more. No lesser, no more. Oop. Yeah, when they were poetic with tombstones in Tombstone. Oh, just relax. Remember back in the day, 1959, the year of statehood? We had to relax. It's like, just go out to the street and hang around the little new light post. We're going to be a state this year. Look, there's a street light. Just to prove it. Repress, prospective homeowners line up to view one of the houses in Enchanted Lake. This is Enchanted Lake? In Kailua? 20,000 people toured four model homes set up at the development site. Come inside. Look, this is what a house looks like. No more grass checks for you. Oh my god. Press. Break it down. Break it down. Now it's finger on the pulse. The political cartoon. Oh. It's a black job to uh, Kamala. A black job to put America back because you got the sewing needle. It took me a while to figure this because he, Trump, cut it in divisive pieces. And now Kamala's got to sew it back together and it's a black job. Off of when the comments Trump made to Black Journalist Convention. What the heck is he saying? See, Kamala, she was Indian, and then she turned black because she wanted more votes. She turned black? <laughs> she flipped on a switch. Okay, obviously it shows well, how I know. I'm, I know what bias, but we still have to... Let's look what both sides... Both sides. Have you been before? Haiku stairs are going to be demolished. Euphemisms not help. This one says... If it's a lie, call it a lie. Strokes can be prevented. Here we go. Trump is only hope to put U.S. back on top. Here is why Donald Trump will win the presidential election. He is smart. He is real. America. And the Democrats and wokeness are already failing. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, in Hawaii, we have a portion of the public that doesn't understand what America stands for. The Socialist Dems, going back to Franklin D. Roosevelt, have promoted a socialist agenda. After generations of brainwashing, we have now a breakdown of the American way of life. Time will show the Obama and Biden presidencies were the bottom of our history. Trump and Republicans are the only hope to regain our momentum as the leaders of a free world. Hawaii is also suffering from the oppressive democratic leadership. Alan Cantor, Hawaii, yeah, Hawaii Kai. Oh, gee, thank you, Alan, for your contribution. No. No, no. <laughs> well, what we got there is um, in Hawaii, it's been democratic ever since it was a state in 1959. 
it's just democratic it just who is he more um grassroots people thing so and and we're just a really multicultural here so it's it, it clicks with Hawaii thinking to be democratic and plus we're on ourselves live on an island together we gotta live together live be democratic there's that sentiment but then what um Alan's got going on here is just one of these spins that's like pro Trump spin um one the failed agenda thing hey we're doing pretty good Biden and stuff like that it's not the lowest part of American history are you kidding me no it's not the lowest part Franklin D Roosevelt I think Democrat yeah yeah Democrat yeah and he he's a so socialist okay so when there's social programs like um social security medicare this kind of thing then there's um helping and programs like that uh that comes up out of unemployment things of this nature these are like things that come out of uh fdr era when they had the great depression and then it's out of the great depression with socialist programs and things like that too and if you know the l takes care of the elderly or the people can't take disability or unemployment takes care of that that's a socialist you're now a socialist so that's a misuse of the word socialism <laughs> they don't understand people in hawaii don't understand and the word wokeness that's a dead giveaway too when they start saying woke those Rose. woke i was like i'm not even sure what that means anymore it just gets smeared around it's like wake up and smell the coffee but it's also sort of like wake up and be inclusive like diversity equality inclusive that's what i think is woke i think that comes under woke i'm kind of sure to see they're switching words around and it's like hey you wanna you wanna x out social security <laughs> you wanna x out unemployment and only for the rich that's that's uh anyways it could see it's it's, it's all stupid it's kind of weird i wonder if Why people are, here? are just loyalist to trump or they get can you feel me or Bye. someone paid coming in here dude anyways blah 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 um I don't know. I don't know either. So let's just say, have a happy Friday. I gotta go. I gotta go run off. Hopefully I can edit this one. Okay. I don't know. I, I gotta do. I do stuff for other people. Am I a socialist? Oh no. Jesus was a socialist. No. Aloha. 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 Aloha.